What's up everybody? Thanks for being here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review for you guys on the Big Catch Magic Bait Trout Line. And I want to throw in some bonus tips at the end for things you can do to upgrade it to help you catch more fish. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, so first and foremost, this is a great line. I've used these for several years. If you watch my videos, a lot of them you've probably seen me using these. These things are great. Best starter line there are. And hell, I still buy them. You know, just because um, you've been doing a while, I don't mean this is, isn't a good deal. So this is a 150 foot main line. Rough is 50 yards. Um, and I'm guessing the main line's around 250, 280 pounds, something like that. Maybe, may even be 300. Doesn't say, so I'm just guessing on that. Plenty enough strong to catch whatever fish you want. It comes with 25 pre-cut drops. Let me go ahead and open it up, show you guys what it's up. All right. Comes with just the main line. It's the line with the beads on it. You get about eight foot for your first anchor point, eight foot on the other anchor point. And then um, you set your drops in between the beads. Well, it comes with 20 pre-cut drops. You get to set these up, but um, they work very well. <laughs> it also comes with these long line clips. Now, if you were to buy these on their own, even from China, these things are like a dollar a piece. So this is hands down the best um, buy you're gonna find. Go ahead and buy them in here. And the way these work, you simply, um, well, I'll slide down. You simply depress this. So here's your main line. You're gonna depress it. And it hooks on there just like that. So you can really move. And this is the reason why the beads are there. Because your line will slide freely. You don't want that. The catfish will bunch up, they'll tangle, and that'll give them a point to twist and twist and twist and break free from. I'm gonna go ahead and set up one of these drops for you guys. Just to show you how simple they are. There's not a lot to this. I mean, these trout lines are they're real simple to use. I'll go ahead and pull out one of these. All right, the instructions say one way, but the way I do it is this. Much simpler and much more effective in my opinion. So we're just gonna go ahead and double this line up. We're gonna do an over hand knot. And you could, uh, you could burn the tabs and stuff if you want to. I used to do that early on, but I don't so much care about it anymore. Pull your knot to the end, cinch it down, and make sure you open up your drop and pull this way too. That way it gets really locked in there. Put some serious pressure on there. You can burn those if you want to, but that's pretty much it. Double the drop over, tie your knot in it, just like that. That's all you need to do. That firmly cinched down. All right, the next thing is you're gonna take one of your long line clips with a barrel swivel on it. That's very important. Um, you're just gonna feed your line into there, and then you're gonna go back through itself, cinch that tight, and that's that's a very 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 stout connection. Next up is your hooks. These things come with um, four out J hooks. And these are very strong. I ended up catching a, I caught a 46 pound flathead on these bad boys. But I mean, with these hooks, you're gonna need to run them every couple hours or you're gonna risk losing, losing fish. If you're gonna set it in there for um, 12 plus hours, um, you're gonna want to consider changing them or you're gonna lose fish so on the hook side all we're gonna do same deal we're gonna feed this through the eye we're gonna go around the hook oh get the hook in the middle we're gonna pull that down and there's your drop I'm probably actually gonna redo this I mean that pulled down a little too, too um, pulled in too much of our tag lines for my liking, but uh, just for 
demonstration purposes, you get it. Then you just use a five gallon bucket, it works the best. You can just clip, just hang these on the inside of the five gallon bucket around the rim and uh, put your main lines in there. Best made. Something All to right. think about back on the, the whole topic of if you're going to uh, leave the lines in for 12 or more hours, I would seriously consider um, upgrading. So here's what I would recommend. Upgrade to circle hooks. Now most of these circle hooks, with the big eye are known as trot lines, four aughts. Yes, that's four aughts. There's 50 in here. I got these from uh, Memphis Net and Twine. It's the only place I can find them in bulk. And they're, they're, they're not expensive. I think these were like 11 bucks. This is the number one upgrade I'm gonna recommend. So I'm gonna set up another drop for you, just so you can see the difference. This is no doubt gonna be the, what I recommend you do with your trout lines. I mean, you don't have to. Like I said, those J hooks will catch big fish, small fish without a problem. It's just the, the problem is, well, the problem you can experience is this. So this J hook, this J hook can be, you know, pulled out, just simply pulled out, snatched out. So what happens with fish, they wrap and they wrap and they'll, even though you got this barrel swivel here, them channel catfish, they will wrap it up and they will find a way to manipulate this and put pressure on the hook. And a lot of them will, they will pop it out of their mouth. They can't do that with a circle hook. Circle hook's gotta be twisted out versus just snatched. It's actually gotta be twisted. So very important to put these on there if you're doing long line um, sets. So let's go ahead and make this drop. I remember when I first started trout line, this was a big deal, setting up a new line. I mean, I'd get everything situated in the kitchen, at the kitchen table, and just, I mean, make it a big deal, you know. Um, I hope you guys saw that, Sit this bad boy down. I got me a new um, GoPro Hero 7, too, because I've been having so much trouble with my, you know, my landing net, catching my, my second camera, catching my, the actual landing net catches that I upgraded. So we're gonna go back through here, just like we did on the other one. We're gonna go back across. And I like to spread this ends here. So your, um, these are up top versus down here, getting cut up. And there you go. So I don't know if you can see that. That's a big, it's a big difference. Like, and you can use either or, but I would definitely consider going to the circle hooks in lieu of the J-hooks if you're gonna do long line sets, 100%. A lot of people have questions about circle hooks. Pretty much it's a good time to use a circle hook if you're gonna be putting your pole in a holder. If you're putting your pole in a holder, circle hook's gonna be the king. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about <clears throat> is the main line. You can use this piece of styrofoam that's on, and as you deploy it, you know, just rip it off there. I personally like to use a spool, um, an old wire spool, a little, two by two, two by four, something like that. Keeps it nice and neat. But I want y'all to see, I mean, this is, so there's about eight foot. And that, that, that initial, that initial part, this, this first eight foot is what you're gonna tie around your first anchor point. Let's go ahead and peel some of this off so you can see. And it'll deploy into the water pretty quick. I'll right, go ahead and show you how this gets set up here. All right, there we go. All right, so there's the beads. This is what's gonna keep your drops from sliding back and forth. So you just simply, when you run your line, you're gonna depress that, stick it in there, let it go, and you're set. That's it. Trout lines are awesome. They get that where, you know, you're anchored, you're anchored here, you're anchored here. So you've got, this is gonna be tight. You don't want it extremely tight. I mean, it's gotta give. And I'll do another video on anchoring of the trout lines for those of you who want to see more about trout lines. Well, in this, the, you know, the cat, this is loose, no tension. Catfish is going to suck this up. And then when he turns, the tension on the line is going to stop here. It's going to cause that circle hook to curve around in his mouth and set him. And these I'm, these I'm using are offset. That's very important too. But of course, you can buy normal circle hooks and bend them. So all in all, this trout line is great. 
like I said, you see me with another one and I've, and I've got several that I've made. Here's the problem you're gonna have. See how this is falling off here? That's one reason to upgrade them. But um, yeah, all in all, very good, very, very good trout line, especially for a starter trout line. Um, a little piece of advice for you too is, even if you don't wanna use this trout line, if you wanna make your own, definitely consider at least buying these from them. I mean, this is very good. It's actually a better deal to buy them with the trout line than it is to just buy these long standing, in my opinion. If you're looking to get in the trout line, and I hope this helps you out. Now you can make all this on your own, tarred twine. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up. You can check it out on how to make your main lines, uh, how to make your, instead of using the beads, um, I teach you a method that you can use that you won't have to do the beads. Um, drops, you can pretty much buy used tarred twine or you can go buy the cheap um, line at Home Depot and cut it as long as it just stays nice and neat in your bucket. You don't want it too long or else it'll tangle up. I'm gonna show you a picture here of um, channel cats and how they could tie your line up causing you some problems. And this is why it's important to have those barrel swivels on there. All right, so as you can see, I've, I've been wondering what was going on. Uh, I've had lines twisted and twisted and twisted and eventually, you know, no fish. So I was thinking it was bullheads, but it's obviously channel cats. Channel cats, they'll escape you in a second. So definitely um, use circle hooks. They, I haven't had one yet pull off of a circle hook because like I said, it's gotta be twisted out versus just pulled out. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, if you're looking to get into trout lining, I'm here to help you any way I can. I enjoy it, it's a great way to, to have a fish fry, take some kids out and catch a bunch of fish. If you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button if you like this video and definitely subscribe if you wanna to continue to see more videos like this. Special thanks to all my subscribers and I'll see you on the next one.